My name is Dewar CSUS Crew from the San Gabriel Valley Covina Azusa area. Ain't that like three different cities? It's about yeah, you lived in all of them, or you just I, I lived it's in just uh, San Gabriel Valley you repping? Yeah, San Gabriel Valley, but I stayed in Covina my whole life, and then when I moved to Azusa, that's where the corruption began. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I've been writing since 2002, 2003, that's about what, I don't even, like what, 12 years? 12, 13, 13 yeah, years. 12, 13 years. I'm connected with crews such as FUA. If it wasn't for FUA, I would have probably never, you know what I mean, got the graffiti mentality. Uh, my boy Dweeb, he was my neighbor. And uh, he's doing tacos now, you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> that's Shameless my boy, plug. you know, he's a hustler <laughs> and stuff. But, you know, so, like, if it wasn't for him showing me graffiti and me seeing, you know what I mean, his garage full of tagging and stuff, I would have probably never, ever even got into art. But I'm also affiliated with OCP, um, you know, just pretty much, I kind of, like, don't affiliate myself with a lot of crews because then you kind of like kind of people look at you like if you're trying to just you know be a little groupie and stuff because the graph game is competitive and so I just stay to my little set and my brothers that I grew up with which is like FUA you know what I mean and pretty much crews like that so those two crews uh what do they stand for OC basically because I know they they have a million different yeah acronyms and breakdowns but what did it originally what did it originally start off as Pause. Uh, fua stands for fuck you all uh from uh fearless underground artist from up above uh, ocp stands for out causing panic and i know a lot of you guys know about ocp <laughs> you know because motherfuckers be killing it props uh, my crew, CSUS, stands for Causing Sickness Upon Society, um, Can't Stop Us Stoners, Can't Stop Us Soldiers, Can't Stand You Sluts, <laughs> um, you know, just the same OC shit. Everybody knows what's up in the valley about us, San Gabriel Valley, and we're still here and we ain't going nowhere, you know. Uh, While well, I was a baseball player as a kid. Um, you know, and then, uh, like I said, I see my neighbor and, uh, I always wanted him to teach me, but you know, I'm happy he did not because then I kind of, I adapted from his style, you know, so the homie always would be like, you're biting my shit, you're a toy, you need to stop, like, fucking, you don't even know what you're doing, but then, you know what I mean, like, I'm, I'm grateful for that because it just made me get that, uh, like, fuck that, I'm gonna top this for, I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna make everybody know who the fuck I am and shit, that kind of attitude, and it kind of, like, made, you know, me have the style I have today, and pretty much I was just, like, one of those good old kids, you know, doing good in school, fucking looking to be a baseball player, and, you know, doing good for moms, but then it just happens, you know, when you grow up in the streets or whatever, you get fucking another mentality sometimes and shit. And you fall in love and, and you have a passion for something now so that you had a passion for, you know, baseball or something. You took I took that passion that I have for baseball and just put it into graffiti and vandalizing and shit, you know. And moms didn't like that, but I'm sorry, mom. And I hope, you know, you're watching this and shit because look at where your son's at now. <laughs> okay, so you said um, you were into baseball. Yeah. When I talked to you and your homeboy at, at a party the other day, Mm -hmm. I was talking about something different in baseball that you was into. Can you uh, go into that a little bit? Uh, like, the 626, is is that like a, they got like gang, is that a gang infested area out there? Uh, yes. 626 area, there's about like two gangs out there, I could say. Maybe like a lot more, but where I was stable at, there's actually one gang, and then maybe I can say there's a gang coming out now, but, you know, I don't even want to give them their, you know, whatever, but, uh, 
you know, the, the gang that I, I affiliated and my family and everything like that was Azusa, you know what I mean? And, and my cousin Risky, you know, and my cousin John John, you know, they, they pretty much, uh, you know, gave me that mentality of like the gang life and, you know, my dad and, you know, me being a child, you know, you, you're raised, when you're raised by a bunch of gang members, you're going to your dad's house every weekend, you know what I mean? Because you live with moms and stuff. So you go to your dad's house and you're just watching like partying, you know, foods, pretty much what I do today, you know, drinking, you know, chopping it up with the homies and then, you know, like it just, as a kid, you witness stuff, you witness, you know, homies just all of a sudden just getting down and shit and you're right there as a little young and like, what the fuck is going on, you know, but it is what it is and. And I'm grateful for, you know, my dad raising me like that because a lot of people out here, they, they you know, they tend to, to, to say they were raised this way, this way, this way. I don't really speak on it, but it is an interview. And, you know, I want people to understand that, you know, some people out there don't, don't understand the type of mentality these children are raised with. You know, some are strong to get out of it and be smart. And do something with themselves, and some just don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? Some people just, hey, fuck it, I'm a gangbang, and that's it, and then boom, fools are doing life. You know, a lot of my, my cousins, older, and I don't even, they're not even family, but just because they, they were chilling with my pops, I don't even see them no more, because it's like about fucking six of them are life. You know, but that's what it is, you know, so imagine being a kid, being raised by these guys, you know what I mean? And you're a baseball player, yeah, you're doing good, but come on, deep down inside in your mentality, you're right there trying to, and you're watching Goodfellas, you're watching Bronx Taylor, like, you're just low-key becoming a little gangster in your own world, but, you know, sometimes you gotta be smart, and that's why I'm thankful for hip-hop, because if it wasn't for hip-hop, I don't even know if I'd be out here walking right now, you know what I mean? So, that's why I became a graffiti artist, and... You know, my family and the neighborhood, you know, a lot of them respect what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Because I'm actually turning a negative to a positive and flipping the script on society, you know what I mean? Um, pretty much I made that decision when uh, I was about, like, 12. I was going through a lot of things, like my mom, you know, she wouldn't, I like punk rock, you know what I mean? And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to be a punk rocker, and uh, she didn't want me dressing like it, you know what I mean? She did not want me dressing like no punk rocker, you know, and I, I thank you, mom, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to, like, now that I think about it, but, you know, so she was trying to, like, like, for me to be something in my heart that I didn't want to be, you know what I mean? And, uh. So then, you know, my dad, he never wanted me to get into gangbanging, so that's kind of why I didn't get into gangbanging, you know, because my dad would probably beat my ass and shit. So, like, what happened is, I looked, at, like, incidents happened with my cousins, you know what I mean? Incidents to where it's just like, why am I going to join something like that if, you know, this shit happened, you know what I mean? It's like... It's crazy, you know, when you look at it from an outside view. So I made the choice of like, you know what? I don't even want to. I need somewhere that that I could trust and have brothers and and be loyal. And you know, they're gonna be loyal to me. So what I did is, you know, I got you know started tagging and I started meeting my friends and I started, you know, we started tagging together and from there, you know, and tends to come beef and. You know, other fucking lame-ass crews and shit try to do what you're doing and, you know, so then you're calling them a toy, they're calling you a toy, and then you run into the motherfuckers and you get it on, you know what I mean? And uh, all, my, all my fools know what I'm about, all my, you know, fools around my city know what I'm about, I don't need to talk about it, but, you know, through that, I chose to not, like, waste my life, like, you know, if it wasn't for Rifleman, too, because, you know, back in the days, I was like my first CD, you know what I mean? Just listening to Mexican Descent, Rifleman, B-Boys and Occupy Mexico, all those, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You still had that same kind of culture, and you still had that same, like, rugged, you know, being down for your shit type shit, you know? So, in all reality, the mentality don't leave you, no matter how much... People want to say, oh, you ain't gang banging, you ain't part of the hood. 
yeah, you ain't doing that, but if you're raised that way, no matter what, you motherfuckers in denial fools, you gotta understand, like, the mentality would never leave you. Pretty much when I was about, I think, 16, I think I was 16, um, my crew, we ended up being on the, on, on the news. We were on Channel 5, Channel 11, Channel uh, 9, all these, right, in the morning, you know? So we went to school, everybody, my homies were calling me like, hey, fool, we just made the news, dog, like, this and that, like, it was on TV, and it was just a tag. It was a CSUSK, right? So, I guess during the day, they made like a big old, big old uh, uh, story about it, you know? So, I'm going home, and I'm telling my dad, like, Dad, we fucking made the news. <laughs> like, we're on the news and stuff. And we all, like, I, all my crew, all our families were tuned into the news that night, you know, to see the, the crew and shit. Everybody's watching the news and shit, and bam, since COVID is tagging out of control, and boom, that picture comes up. And everybody that knows what's up, that it was me, you know what I mean? They knew that shit was me. And, like, I got scared shitless, I'm not going to lie. I was like, what the fuck? The worst was, you know, fucking, there was probably about, I could say, three worst times, you know? We got set up by some bitches and shit at a party, and motherfuckers, our enemies, you know, were there, like, Damn, homie, deep, you know what I mean? And, we, you know, we stood our ground, though, and that's one thing, and that's a lot, we got a lot of respect from that, you know what I mean? Even though, you know, we kind of, like, talk, took the loss that day, we earned respect because we didn't book it, you know? Even though we are outnumbered, like, three foods to one, homie, it's all good, you know? But that, by far, was kind of like, oh, shit, and shit happens like that. That's pretty much how beef starts, you know? Shit talking... Fools thinking they're better than you are just hating on you. And a lot of my aspect, they hated on me because I'm a cool-ass motherfucker. I, I'm cool with people. I like being cool. I don't carry myself like I'm a hothead. But, you know, fools know what's up about me, you know? And that's how it starts, man. Pretty much uh, what I got influenced on was, you know, the L.A. culture of it. You know what I mean? Um, the greatest advice I took was from my dad. He told me, he's like, you want to get into graffiti, you want to get into hip-hop, pop-locking, break-dancing, got to do your history. So what I did is I, I, I bought Run DMC CDs, I bought fucking all the New York mentality, mm -hmm. and Wild Style, Beat Street, fucking Breaking, you know, all the old school movies, and I brainwashed myself with all that shit. I just learned, you know what I mean? I think a lot of motherfuckers that get into hip-hop, you should do that. Because a lot of people are just mm -hmm. listening to the high school type of underground these days, and it's kind of like, you ain't even doing your history, my mm -hmm. boy. And I think that's one thing to respect the game. You gotta do your history. So, you know, from that, I, I learned about graffiti from the New York aspect, from scene, you know, T-Kid, all these, you know, dope-ass legends. So, you know, me doing that and, and Ramo from Beach Street, you know what I mean? Everybody wants to be like Ramo and shit and, you know, going against his parents. Like, you know, why don't you just see what I do, you know what I mean? So I took on that role. I also, like, looked up to, like, a lot of foods from CBS, um, you know, who else? Like, MSK, come on, you know, everybody. If you're a graph writer and you say you don't get influenced by MSK, you're full of shit, I mean. Um, so, you know, I looked up to a lot of people like that. Um, around my area, at that time, being a youngin, it was... A tag is like the first and foremost of what you do. That's your tag. You know, you go tag everywhere. Poles, signs, you know what I mean? Floors, acrylics on floors, uh, you know, bus stops, shit like that. Then you got the bombing, which is like, um, you know, throw-ups. You know what I mean? A throw-up is not a piece. A throw-up is not, like, you know, you could use them on murals now. I see a lot of, like, sick motherfuckers doing that. But the throw-up is usually just to be throwing up everywhere. You're fucking, you're bombing the city. A burner and a bomb, you're kind of sitting there adding colors. You're adding, uh, you're adding, like, multiple colors like that, not just black and white. 
You're adding black, white, gray, you know what I mean, with the outline red, you know, that's kind of, and then making it more of like a boxy style. And by all means, it's, then when you go to like piecing and murals, it's another level, man. You sit there and take your time, you're there all day, you're, you know, it's straight can control. And that's as you go, you know what I mean? It's, it's levels.